1350, radio out of service. Voltage regulators inoperative, holding course for Benghazi. I've been examining this aeroplane. Yeah? Yes. We have everything here that we need to build a new one and fly it out. Now, if you would like to have a look at my calculations, I don't know whether you can read my handwriting. Are you trying to be funny? The port boom is undamaged, and so, of course, are all the port side components. If we remove the starboard wing and attach it to the port boom and perform a similar operation on the tailplane, You'll see that we'll have the basis of uh, an entirely new and aerodynamically sound structure. Is that understood? Oh, absolutely. Now, most of the hydraulic fluid has leaked away, but I have worked out direct rut and cable control, so that is no problem. All right, now, what are you going to use for an undercarriage? Our last landing rendered the undercarriage unserviceable. However, there is enough H section in the cargo monorail and hull engines to make up a skid cradle for takeoff. Skid cradle? Well, uh, skis, Mr. Moran. Skis. You're just going to unzip that starboard wing and lift it up all the way over from the other side and tag it onto this port boom. Is that correct? Well, yes. Are you asking me to kill the rest of them trying to get a death trap off the ground? I don't know. There's just one chance in a thousand that he has got something. Boy, I'd rather take it than just sit around here waiting to die. What's it for? Come on. Hey. I'm constructing a still. The sand will prevent the tube from fracturing when I bend it. It's very cunning. Sometimes I wonder how you chaps never won the war. War? You know. I wasn't involved. That's it then. That's why they never won. They didn't have old Heinrich. You know. We've worked out of two nights now, but Dorfman's brainchild looks less like an airplane than it did when we started. It's almost midday and he's still working. What is it? Is this the outfit you work for? Becker fruit, so yeah. The biggest we make is the Adler. The biggest I've personally designed is the Jäger 250. It won the prize for extended flight at Frankfurt last year. Extended flight? Yes. The radio control also was my design. And then on the opposite page there, there's another rather fine model. It's called the Schwalbe. It's there. Uh, yes, yes, but I, I think what Mr. Towns meant was the, the real thing. Uh, how much designing have you done on the uh, real thing? The real thing? Well, yes, uh, you know, like this. Oh, no, 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 you misunderstand. We make nothing but uh, model aeroplanes. I think I'd better check on the control linkages. He's crazy, Lou. He builds toy airplanes. It, it might be better not to mention to the others about uh, being a toy plane designer. Mr. Tons, a toy plane is something you wind up 
that rolls along the floor. A model aeroplane is something totally different. Model aeroplanes have been flying successfully more than 50 years before the Wright brothers ever got off the ground. They were not toy planes. And there's something else you should remember, Mr. Towns. A model plane has to fly itself. There's no pilot to correct the trim. Therefore, if anything, a model plane has to be designed for greater stability than what you are pleased to call the real thing. I understand those are the only cartridges we have. If you fail with them, my work has been wasted. The moment the engine fires, throttle back. Clear. That's number one. You're wasting the cartridges. You have only three left. I know that. What are you doing? I'm going to use one cartridge, ignition off, clean out the cylinders. No! Try to land that thing here, aren't you? 